In this video, I'm gonna show you how to become PCI certified as a Salesforce and Chargent customer. My name is Micaiah and I'm from Chargent. So why do you wanna be PCI certified? Well, you wanna be PCI certified because it is proof positive that your organization is taking the responsibility of caring for your customer's card data seriously. As well, it is the most straightforward way to ensure that you are in fact following all of the payment data security best practices. I want you to know that we have made a really easy to follow guide that explains all of the details of what you need to know about Salesforce and PCI. Find the link in the description below and download that guide today. So here are the steps to become PCI certified in Salesforce. Step number one is to assess the level of PCI that you need to achieve. And this is based on the volume of card transactions that you process every year. Step number two is to hire a qualified security assessor. If you're level one or level two, they're gonna lead you through the process for your organization. And you can find a list of certified QSAs on the PCI Council's website. If you are level three or level four, your next step is to call your payment processor. I want you to ask them if they have a program that you can leverage. Assuming that they do, just go ahead and follow those steps and you'll be all good. Now step number three, if your payment processor doesn't have an option for you, then you should review the list of available self-attestation questionnaires, or as we commonly call them, SAQs. You're gonna find the one or possibly more that encompass the ways that you process payments. Many Salesforce and charging customers can use one of these three, SAQ-A, SAQ-C, or SAQ-C-VT. Usually, your payment processor can give you more guidance on this if you're not 100% sure. Step number four, you're gonna download and complete that SAQ document from the PCI Council's website. Inside that document, there's an additional section called the Attestation of Compliance, which we commonly call the AOC, not that AOC, which is part of the SAQ. Step number five is train your team. As you are completing the SAQ, you will be also updating your company data security policies. So you gotta be sure to train your staff on these newly updated policies. And step number six, any time that you are asked to prove your PCI compliance, I want you to go ahead and send them your attestation of compliance. Remember the AOC. You are now ready for when anyone asks you if you are PCI certified. One other important thing to know, I want you to remember that no organization can completely absolve or take away another organization's PCI scope entirely. And while technology like Salesforce and Chargent, we can assist in lowering your PCI scope, if you do take cards, you do have PCI liability. I want you to check out this video here where we'll talk more about this. I will see you over there. And my name is Micaiah. Here at Chargent, we help make payments easier for smart business leaders who use Salesforce. Remember at Chargent, we are always here to help.